Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. Enjoy and out. And today we landed right here in Hamilton, New Jersey. Now we're gonna go today to a spot I always wanted to go. We're at a spot called Grounds for Sculpture. Now, it's part museum, part art gallery, part sculpture garden, part arboretum. The day of filming this is Earth Day. We figured a sculpture garden in an arboretum sounds perfect for Earth Day. We should come check it out, mm -hmm. and we should bring you along to check it out. And that's what we're doing. So hopefully you like that. We're gonna also tell you about the artist that founded it. You see, Grammar Sculpture was founded in 1992 by an artist named Jay Seward Johnson. Uh, he was a sculptor, uh, and he wanted to do this. So this was the old New Jersey State Fairgrounds. Took over the property, made grounds for sculpture. And some of his sculptures are also seen around Hamilton, New Jersey. After we finish at Ground for Sculpture, we're going to drive around and show you a few more of his statues. Mm -hmm. And I like it because, as you can see from that one behind us, some of his statues <laughs> are giant. I fell in love with his statues. It was 2005. Me and Joy went to Washington, D.C. And we store a statue called The Awakening, which looks like a giant. You see the hand coming out, his face coming out. And I, I loved it. And then I started finding more and more sculptures. My grandmother used to live in an assisted living, uh, senior living area in Highland Park, New Jersey. And in like the parking area, there was three of his statues there and I <laughs> fell in love with them more. So knowing that there's a park that he founded that's full of sculptures, not just his sculptures, but there are a lot of his here as well. Uh, we had to bring you on. They're giants, almost like roadside giants, but as art, so it's cool. Hopefully you like it, if you do. You can like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment down below. Joy's hair is going everywhere. But all that stuff is very appreciated. And we uh, like you for stopping by. So thank you. So I think it's time we can do it, Joy. Oh, yeah, let's move on. Grass for sculpture. You ready? Step right up. Let's go for this ride. Now, like I said, this ground for sculpture, this first building that we come to or we enter, first building that we come to as we enter is Seward Johnson's. Center for the Arts. That's just one of the buildings here in Grand Prix Sculpture. As you can see, some of his statues are massive, and then there are some that are life-size. I like the life-size ones because sometimes you don't realize it's a sculpture and you think it's a real person. A lot of the statues you see are going to be bronze statues that are painted. Some will stay the bronze, and I love them. Super Johnson actually didn't start as a sculptor. He was a painter, but later his aesthetic changed and he switched to sculptures. He actually was born not that far away from here in 1930 in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And just before we head in, one weird fact that I think is interesting is his, he's the grandson of Robert Wood Johnson I, the co-founder of Johnson & Johnson's. You know, like, no more tear shampoo, which is also here in Jersey. And he's the first cousin of Michael Douglas. Who knew? I mean, this is so incredible. So incredible. Have an old man giving a piece of Hershey's chocolate bar to the little girl. And look look at the stuffed animal. It actually looks like a stuffed animal. No, that that's that's metal. There are rules. We can't climb on the statues. We can touch the ones outside. Don't touch any statues inside. Looking at the map, we can see how big the spot is. You see, we came into the Seward Johnson Center for the Arts, but you can see how big the outside property is. This is actually built on the old New Jersey State Fairgrounds, so it is 42 acres. Now, I was reading that over 700 artists have showed here, and there are over 150 artists in their permanent collection of sculptures, and there are over 300 sculptures for us to see. But one thing, don't just show up here. We had to buy tickets online, they're timed entries, which is very important. And that's the way it always was since we tried to come what was it, probably about eight years ago? Yeah. And we didn't know, we didn't have our timed entry, we couldn't get in. So we did it right this time, so make sure you do it right. I was gonna ask this gentleman which way to the, to the gardens, but uh, he's not real. It's another one of Seward Johnson's sculptures. This is an uh, interesting representation. This is actually a cast bronze of one of Seward Johnson's sculptures called the Double Check, and now it's also known as the Survivor. See, in 1982, Seward Johnson completed this work and it was actually put in, installed in Liberty Plaza Park in Lower Manhattan. And it was there and then obviously we all know the events that happened 
on September 11th, 2001. When the firemen were trying to rescue her, they actually saw the statue and thought it was a person. But they realized it was a statue, and the statue was still intact under the rubble. It came with different meanings behind the businessmen sitting on the bench made by Seward Johnson. And it's cool that they made a cast of it, because the cast, like I said, was made in 2014. And it sits here now. Here we actually have a photo of Cecilia Joyce and Seward Johnson, Cambridge, Massachusetts, 1966. And like I was saying, there is like a museum section inside. The spot is massive, over 42 acres. We have his Forever Marilyn from 1997 cast bronze. This is number four of 15. If you ever seen, I think it was once in San Diego or it's tour in the world, he's made a giant version of this statue. He also has the giant one of when the sailor kissed the nurse in Times Square after the end of World War II. He made a giant one of those statues. I just think it's amazing. And here we have some painted plates. Like I said, he started as a painter by Seward Johnson. You actually have the book about it right here. A coffee table book with plates and a reading chair. It's cool how all the art, like inspirations, things that affected his life. My 16 year old jazz dream. And this was Seward Johnson, 2016 cast bronze. We're talking born in 1930. This cast is from 2016. I figure at that point he was 86 years old still creating this art. Sadly, Seward Johnson did pass away in 2020. This is crazy. Right here, we're looking at this piece of art. It says, Stainless Girl. It's the title of the art piece by Seward Johnson, 2010. Made out of styrofoam? It looks like metal. I like how when you come into like these little sections of like life or whatever you have like these little peeking windows like you can peek right into like a little sitting area or like a living room with his art and like other pictures there it is the awakening see the giant hand oh i love that statue cool piece of art called welcome home from 2003 plaster and painted wood i guess we're supposed to stand on the footprints Get the effect. Weird perspectives of the bed and the shapes of the furniture. Because the chair looks normal, but then when we get up on it, you can see the weird shapes of things. Tables all crooked. Everything in here is so beautiful. Like one of the cafes in the main building, the Van Gogh Cafe. Look at the ceiling in this spot. Like I said, you get some food to eat here as well. It's a great tribute to Vince Van Gogh called Painting by the Glow of the Green Fairy, 2016. And in case you don't know what the Green Fairy is, Van Gogh uh, used to drink a little bit too much absinthe. And there is the absinthe. We see Van Gogh painting. But what I like is, you see he's painting this outdoor cafe with the yellow awning and the blue door. Good job, Van Gogh. You see their cafe is that blue door, that yellow awning. That's a big koi fish. Hi. Making her way into the actual sculpture garden. Like I was saying, it is also an arboretum. So we see like some labels for the plants that they have as well. As we enter, you start to see how the sculptures work their way into the environments. And you definitely can see the different sculptures than what we were seeing by Seward Johnson. Because they definitely have a different feel than the painted people. And I like that they're not just on land. We have this thing that looks like it could be a tentacle or some sort of sea worm that is actually built into the water, the display of it. I don't know what kind of material it's made of, but if you look here, we could actually see almost like light shining through, illuminating it through the actual sculpture. As I was coming upon this aluminum statue, to me, I was thinking, wow, that reminds me of the spaceship from Fly the Navigator. All to read that it's called Shat's Spaceship. 
from 2009. And this sculptor is a man named E. Calder Powell. Do you hear the wind rattling through the bamboo as it comes in? Using all your senses as you walk, experiencing the art. Listening, looking, smelling the air. Smelling the possible rain in the air. <laughs> Behind all that bamboo is a statue called Exotica Tropicolis. Another sewer John so on. But in the painting and this painting. one, we're actually yeah, able to painting. enter. There's a little path behind the statue. So you can become part of the art. You're not gonna, you're not gonna... There you see Joy being part of the art. I like is like, of course we have the naked lady, the lions, the snake. But then you see the figures in the bamboo black down. All you see is the eyes, like they're coming, they're watching the naked lady from the woods. Like I was saying, yes, you may enter the sculpture, but please stay on the pathway. Do not walk or climb into any other areas. Big piece of stone, it's carved, so it looks like there was two pieces that they just cut and pulled apart. This horse, this man on a horse, reminds me of uh, Stalin. But I also like how the horse reminds me of the old, was it, play school figures? That's what I was thinking. No, or Playmobil, du Playmobil? Duplo, Playmobil, one Yeah, of those Playmobil, two. yeah. Where it was like the boxy. Yeah. A statue called Henry Moore in a sheep meadow by an artist named Red Grooms. I'm guessing this weird man in a funky pose is Henry Moore. And here we have some of the sheeps and the shepherd with his pipe and brilliant blue eyes. I love the little sheep dog he has with him. This is what I mean by I love Stuart Johnson sculptures. So we have one sculpture here, another rock sculpture. Then you, we, I was just walking by fast and I saw a woman just reading her book, not realizing that is a sculpture. The shoes next to her. Captured poems by India Blake. I will recite you some poetry, honey. This is As Summer Settles In. The lawn rises in a soft, verdant haze. The trees deepen, lengthening their roots into the moist, rich soil. The birds chirp is quieter, though more sustainable than in the spring. As I watch the landscape of summer from the top of the porch, I glimpse myself as a girl, contemplative, standing at the edge of the green seeing past the small structures of my childhood to the future, the beauty and terror of a life just beginning. And this is why I love art. This is a statue by Barry Parker called Lamentation. What do you see? Because I sort of see a person and then another person here sitting with one arm. But art, you could interpret it so many different ways. What is this? It's just some pieces of metal. But what do you see? That's what I like about art. Is it a door? Is it art? Can I go through it? Ooh. That's what I call a bad headache. When you come here, yeah, like if you, if you touch like a statue, it's okay. If it says it's okay, there's a lot of statues that say, don't touch the statue, don't climb on the statue. We're seeing families with little kids, like the shepherd we've seen before. There was a girl sitting on the shepherd's head. Don't sit on the shepherd's head. Looking at a cool sculpture. Then we have some paths we could walk by. Oh, we have a couple cuddling. Came here to study physics and now all you're doing is cuddling. I see how it is. Left your phone next to you. Just hanging out with my friends. Um, we were studying physics, but now, now we're just, just chilling. 
sleeping. I like what looks like a cloud going around. You see the rocks weighing it down on the bottom. Reminds me of hands wrapping, reaching up. Trio by Sarah Haviland. Little cafe, you see people sitting, but then you see the sculpture in the middle of all of them. Welcome to the gazebo, and you could go up. So it's cool. At the gazebo, there's actually another outside bathroom and snacks. That is so cool. But even cooler, you get to go up it. No writing or carving allowed. I wish people followed the rules. Oh, this is what I need. You've got a good aerial view now. There's some big bees up here that like the view as well. So I got us a strawberry. Two scoops? Hope, hope you like strawberry. I just want to know if we look at her knitting basket. The dog's not part of the statue. Someone left their Sesame Street dog here. Oh well. <laughs> and it's kind of like also. <laughs> Joey, you like grounds for sculpture? I love it now. <laughs> <laughs> We're seeing cool art, hanging out for our new friends. Got ice cream from the gazebo. <laughs> We have Dancers by Alexander Ruch. What I think is cool is you see how it looks like the trees are actually people dancing. But then if you look how they cut the top off this tree, it looks like the tops of this tree sort of became the dancers. It's such a busy path, but then how you actually become part with nature and get to walk through things. That person looks familiar, Joy. This is a fan by Brower Hatcher. And you really have to do take all these paths because you never know where you're going to find another sculpture. Another one is Stuart Johnson's. And the Monkey King. I like the Monkey King. This isn't Stuart Johnson. This is Hyung Jun Yum. This is Thought to continue, Consider by Seward Johnson. This one's actually aluminum. This one is a piece of art by an artist named Victor. It's called The Birth of the Messenger. It reminds me of the Venus of Willendorf. You just look at this spot. It's so beautiful. We came a good weekend with all the flowers blooming. And this work by Stuart Johnson, I think, has a funny name. Its name is Copyright Violation. Everything that's there yep. is there. Yep. His painting, as you see, we have the two people with the umbrella, the woman with the parasol, the way the flags are positioned, and they're all thin there. We have the two people, the woman with the umbrella, the man with the top hat, the other one with the parasol, the two flags, the way they're blowing is correct. So copyright violation up there is painting, if it were time. So the question is, if that was it, if it were time, is this, that gentleman and that woman with the parasol reflecting on their younger selves? If it were time? Be fooled, you see everyone going up to the right? This is actually a path here to the left. The paths are really hidden here. And yes, I was correct. We found another sculpture. When life imitates art. We have a statue of a woman in a bathtub. I like how the cast bronze actually makes it look like water. That she's actually submerged partially in the tub. It's just nuts, like, look at, it looks like it should be a real sweater. And he's smuggling some water. 
What, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? It, it would be cool if when we followed her line of sight, it pointed to something. But I think it's just the water. It's beautiful, the depth of things. From far away, this looks like it's painted on the wall. And then when you get up close, you realize, no, it is a sculpture. That is 3D. And the sculpture I just showed is on the outside of the building of the Chamber of Internal Dialogue. It's beautiful, this sculpture, Archon Cave. So when we move, it always looks like it's looking at us. But like... Yeah. So Joy is showing you that's what the outside looked like. So you have like Here's the, the fingers are like bent on towards the... the reverse. Rim. Yeah. And did you think, oh, this was a face of them? It's not metal. This is comfy and the AC is kicking in here. <laughs> so if you come to ground for sculptures and it's a hot day, this is the exit for you. Come in, enjoy the air conditioning. Look at art. <laughs> and just like we saw the concave, the scream on the inside, here we have the convex, the scream. Originally painted by Edward Munch, now sculpted by Seward Johnson. The day we are here is a little crowded, but I, there's still enough paths that you can sneak away and be enclosed in the art, be enclosed in the environment. Just look at this tall bamboo, the purple flowers on this tree. It's as if we're in a fantasy world mixed with giant owl sculptures. This path says to a warming hut. I'm not chilly, but I am curious what a warming hut is. Look at this like amphitheater setup. I want to do sideshow at Grounds for Sculpture right here. That would be awesome. I'm guessing it's the warming hut. Watch your step. It really is a warming hut. If it was really cold, because the spot is open year round, we have the little like fireplace warming hut building. We are just entering the forest of the subconscious. Joe, are you letting your subconscious just take over, guide you through the forest? No, that one I'm just guiding myself. I was gonna hit the tree branch. Being lost in your own mind. What is real? What is not real? Where are Which we going? Way to go? Which way to go? And it leads to a case and a door. We have Gloria Vanderbilt's Heart's Desire. From a big acrylic skull to baby dolls and hearts to a baby doll in a glass bottle. I like the toy snake. Baby dancing with armless ladies. Is it a tribute to the Venus de Mayo? Who knows? Maybe in the subconscious it knew. And as that, and we approach the random door. Do you, would you walk through a door randomly in the middle of the woods? Only one way. Can't go back. Never could go back, you always have to go forward. It's a good way to live life. Seward Johnson's Radon's Fantasy of Venus. Another one of Seward Johnson's pieces. But the depth that's formed from the oyster shells in the foreground to the woman bending over by the water in the background. And then you have these two gentlemen with the naked woman and her clothing with the fruit in the pile with the basket. I love the depths, the depth of feels. And that this path to walk around the sculpture really take it in. Just makes you wonder, the woman that was sitting there before without her clothing on, was she bathing in here before? And behind the sculpture we actually have the art book with the painting of the sculpture in it. Done up to become part of the sculpture. The people are awesome, how they just become part of the environment. He just look, just taking a view in, taking a seat, got his tennis shoes on, looking out at the water. 
I have to say, this Kevin Lyles sculpture passage, it really rocks. And this piece can become performance art. If we do a far, far zoom in, there's a dog back there. Can I swim across the river and play with the dog, Joy? <sighs> nice bench to sit down. Have boats. I love the use of painters painting the different pieces of art. It's a cool little thing. And as the winds blow, you see the boat actually rocking. It's actually flowing in there. It's not just like tethered down as a sculpture. This one. This one is. <laughs> and behind these sculptures, that's actually Rat's Restaurant, the restaurant that's on ground. So there's the cafe, ice cream stand at the gazebo, and a full restaurant. I like this thing. You see the metal frame, but I think we're supposed to look through the circle to get the angle of what we're supposed to see. Oh, that is cool. It forms a cube. Wow. He's lining up this painting. It's weird, this boat is in here. I wonder if one point that boat was here that he was painting. Or is he, are you just imagining it? Yeah, I love it. He's painting the painter painting. Oh, this goes even beyond. Yeah. And he's painting the painter, painting the painter. I love it. I love it so much. See the gentleman? I'm trying to see, is that a Sewer Johnson self-portrait sculpture? Because here's a photo of him later in life. And I wonder if that's him painting his painting and continuing. And the empty easel has him. So here's a painting of this man painting that man painting that man yep this is viral art get it this is going viral that original thing it's spreading sharing it from one to the other to the other so i mean like you see everyone here enjoying these sculptures not realizing there is another one down the path by the water because i don't think this guy actually came to this park to fish i think he's a sculpture he got some nice trout though Were you invited? Boating party. Ooh. And pondering the benefits of exercise. We have boating party this way, benefits of exercise that way. Let's go boating party first. Wow. Were you invited? This is some party. And this one, when you come, it's tucked behind Rat's restaurant. You could almost miss this one. Look how many people are here. So which makes this one cool is it's based off Renoir's The Luncheon of Boating Party. Like all these people are different people. Like you see we have Bruno, the art gallery, artist, even 16 is Seward Johnson himself. There he is himself. Next to Seward Johnson is Red Grooms, the man who did the sheeps. So what I'm figuring is, is that all these people were based off the Renoir painting, some of them. And then we have the second party, which are people from Grounds for Sculpture. I could be totally wrong, but I don't think this guy with his welding helmet was in uh, Renoir's painting. Or the Ground for Sculpture book. That's crazy. So the woman that's holding the dog, the dog was a seamstress that Renoir met and later on married. So this was one's Renoir's wife? Yes. Pondering the benefits of exercise. I love he's pondering while drinking and smoking. I wonder if exercise is good. Let me just uh, smoke this and then I'll think about it. I'm going to the shower. Oh, I'm so sorry, miss. It's only a sculpture. Only a sculpture. I love to the fake shampoo bottles and that, to her robe, her bra, panties, radio. radio. Things don't have to be based off the 1800s. Things can be modern. 
we just approached, and this one's more interactive. As the music's going, the woman in the shower is singing. She's mad about me. <laughs> David Hostellers, summertime lady. Oh, we literally walked through the restaurant to see her. But we had to. And then we have Monet's Bridge. Could you picture the water lilies? Watch your step over Monet's Bridge. It is a steep bridge. And from Monet's Bridge, we have another naked lady freshening up by the side of the pond as the koi swim by. It's beautiful because you see how she's exposed her bosom, but she's hiding her face from the viewer. And it's interesting, the full exposure, but still the shyness. And I'd say it's quite funny when we see these statues that look realistic of a naked lady. You see like little 12 year old boys looking like, ooh. Statues named On Poppy Hill. We have poppies and tulips and red flowers. The woman with her parasol and the little boy following next to her. I love this. By Dana Stewart. This is Fetch. Lester. We have Lester. Waiting for wings. Oh, waiting for wings. Got two more. I love them. Nightmare. Yeah, look at those teeth. I like Sue's nightmare. This guy looks like he's howling at the moon. Howling beast. Got his name. What's interesting is we saw one of these weird hybrid dinosaur dogs in New Hope, Pennsylvania. We were going to the Creeper Gallery called Boomer. And we'll leave the link to that video down below where we saw another one of Dana Stewart's works of art. at the end of the trail. Look at him, he's a good, he's a goodest boy with his tongue out. It looks like dog meets dinosaur meets sort of a possum-ish. Oh, I like this one. This one has a really uh, cartoony animated face. What was that? That's his name? What was that? Yep. What was that? D did you hear someone at the door? What was that? What was that? Guard beast. We have guard beasts. You see, I'm growling. Grr, grr. Don't bite down. Don't bite down. Oh. This one by John Van Alstein, the juggler. Balancing an anvil with a little block on top of the anvil on a ring. But it is beautiful how it's more than just the sculpture gallery and it's the gardens. Like, look at this path of trees. This one's titled, Has anyone seen Larry? I might have found Larry. I love the different faces. We have a regular woman, the monkey face, the exposed breast, and this one with the uh, long tongue, the fangs, the one breast exposed. So who cool, walking down the path of trees. really want to come back when it's like winter when it's dead here to hear nature going as we're walking through this place it would be really nice to just to hear th the wind going through as we're walking the f our footsteps and simplistic like that with yes. these with these paths Go. I love this. William T. Wiley to Marcel Duchamp, 1887 to 1968, artist, tool, and die maker, 1968. And that was the name of the statue, the, from to Marcel Duchamp to the 1968. And this is a stainless steel statue. I was like, what the heck? This thing just keeps on going. Yeah, we have these weird, reminds me of a Stonehenge, not like the 
the rocks across the top are just big stones in the ground. Our piece is called Space of Stone. And these ones are actually made of stone, not styrofoam. Like the weird metal lady. Yep. Joy. I hope people don't take this piece of art for granted. I know, what we were looking like, do we go this way? Then we go here, and we see the giant head on top of this hill. Let's, let's go look at the giant head. That you could we could drive that we're probably parked around that side didn't even see that massive sculpture so we were on the other side of this building now we're on the back side of the building for the sewer johnson the welcome center another giant sculpture woman on a chase lounge but this this tower full of warriors around is really cool Ooh la la, naked lady on her chase lounge with the cat. What I like is that like she's on full display when a car pulls in the parking lot. Like here I am in all my glory. It's crazy. The cat's whiskers broke up, but if you look, they were actually made out of zip ties at one point. Because this big lady isn't made out of a... Uh, yeah, metal. You can all see like where her arm was attached on, the seam. So the big woman on top of the hill is confrontational vulnerability. I guess it's confrontational because the cat getting ready to attack and vulnerability because she's naked. And that actually one is painted foam. That was incredible. Yes. We're walking out of grounds for sculpture. Even though we never really were in it or out of it, the parking lot connects. That's why they check your uh, tickets when you drive in. I didn't know, because once you drive in, you're in. You just walk around, it's the buildings, it's the outside area, it's big, it's beautiful, amazing art. Check all those little hidden nooks. Sculptures are tucked away everywhere. I don't even think that we saw our, like the majority of I, mean, I think we saw our majority, we saw majority, but we definitely didn't see everything. We didn't see everything. It is cool. But like I was saying, there are some other Sewer Johnson sculptures here in Hamilton. There's some big ones, so we are leaving ground for sculpture. But I want to share two more works of his art with you. That's where we're heading right now. All right. And this is what I mean, a statue just randomly in town, like a father teaching a girl to ride a bicycle. That thing is huge! We have Sewer Johnson's version of the famous painting, American Gothic. His sculpture is called God Bless America. We do have the farmer with his pitchfork, the woman looking over his shoulder. I like the bag, it's a little different. We're going to Shanghai, Bangladesh, India, Thailand. This is close to the Hamilton train station, right over there. And if you see, we're gonna go look at giant mariachis and dancers. I don't think he even come up to his knee. I like the size of the bag. Yeah, that's pretty cool. God Bless America by Seward Johnson. 2005-2007, The Sculptor Foundation. Last statue by Seward Johnson that we are going to see today is these three couples dancing and the two mariachis playing. This one is a turn of the century. We saw actually that one in front of Grounds for Sculpture. See him strumming his guitar, singing his song. This dancer is called Whispering Close. See as they're dancing, he's leaning in, whispering something in her ear. I like the title of this couple dancing, Time for Fun. It's unusual. All three couples dancing have plaques for the names of the sculptures, but the two mariachis don't have plaques with names of the sculpture. 
I always personally thought it was meant to be one big sculpture, but I don't know if it's three little sculptures with the mariachi or is it all form one big sculpture? But as you're driving down the road, just getting off the highway, and the first thing you see, like I personally love stuff like Muffler Men, and I'm not comparing this to Muffler Men, but it sort of reminds me of it. Like these bigger than life things. Imagine not knowing this was here, getting off a highway, and all of a sudden you see three like 20 feet high dancing couples and two mariachis. That's amazing. And I think it's cool when you actually see like how it's probably put together. You see the seams in her dress? Beautiful art. Beautiful stuff to find. Sitting on the side of the road at the Hamilton train station. So there you have it. Grounds for the sculpture in Hamilton, New Jersey. I love seeing the art of Seward Johnson. I love that there's a sculpture park. It's also an arboretum. Got to look at nature and sculptures. And I also love that it's not just his sculptures, there's other sculptures, which is cool. I'll be honest, I came to see his sculptures. I am happy I saw a lot of other sculptures though as well. I love those weird dinosaur dog things. This spot is cool. I love it because you can come if you appreciate art. You can come if you want to just walk in nature. It's a really cool spot. Yeah. It's interesting. It's different. It's fun. It's quirky when you make a turn and all of a sudden there might be a naked lady in a shower. Go figure. I, I think it's awesome. Just remember, if you are coming, buy the tickets online. We'll put a link down below to their website so you can get tickets, but we highly recommend it. Yes, definitely. I think we'll call it. I think so. Grounds for sculpture. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, save travels and live life. My love, did you just kiss this man? I don't know. Your beards look so similar. I thought it was you. Oh, ho, she did not pull away when she knew it was me, though. Honey, what is this man saying? But he is your long-lost twin brother. I never knew you had a twin brother. 